This video is sponsored by BigAppleBuddy.com. Now, have you ever wanted to buy something but it's not available in your country, like some tech item of some sort, like maybe the Aristo 2 you want to buy but it's not available in your country? So, for right now, you can get $10 off your first purchase on BigAppleBuddy.com using the code ASHERTECH. I will put my code in the description along with the link. So, what this website does is as I said, if you have a product that isn't available in your country, like maybe the Aristo 2, maybe the Blade Z Max, some, whatever it is that's not available in your country and you want to be able to purchase that phone or tech item. So you'll be able to go to BigAppleBuddy.com and it's a, more of a service, I would say. They charge a little bit for the service to be able to ship it to you. And what you do is you basically buy it through them and then they take the time to do everything, ship it for you. Plus you get all of the warranty from it. So they take it, they take advantage of the warranty. So if you have an issue with the product came in defective, you can contact them and they'll ship it back and they'll ship it back and they'll be able to replace the item for you. They'll go through with the warranty. Unlike some websites that don't that don't go through with the warranty. If you do want, this is for international viewers because well if you're in the US, you can buy these products anyway. So, link to the website will be down below and use code ASHERTECH on your, per on your first purchase to get $10 off. Again, huge thank you to Big Apple Buddy for sponsoring this video. So, to start this off, this is just the review for my Aristo 2. Now, I have some thoughts about this phone, whether it be good or bad, but I just wanna take a look around the outside, the look of the phone. So for the front of the phone, you have the camera on the front, which is five megapixel, and then you have the standard stuff. Then you have a five inch 720p display with all on-screen buttons. Now on the bottom of it, you have your headphone jack, micro USB port, not USB-C if you care about that, and you have a mic. On the left side, you have volume, and on the right, there's nothing. And on the back, there is a 13 megapixel camera, which I like, and a flash power button that is not a fingerprint sensor. A very, very, very slippery feeling phone. I dropped it like the third day in. LG logo and then an okay speaker. Now you can take the back off this phone to reveal a 2410mAh battery, your movable, your SD card slot, and your SIM card slot. Now I don't have a SIM card in here. I switched back to my OnePlus 5 because of some of the issues I've been having with this phone. Now, I never put an SD card on this phone. That wasn't the issue. So you turn it on, you can double click it or just turn it on specifically. As you see, I am getting my notifications here. I don't want to set up from an old phone. So I did load some apps on here. It's a decent phone. The camera's good. I like it. Now, the issue was performance wasn't the best. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around the UI. So this is typical LG. They added this where you have your swipe to the right and you get your Google Now stuff. And then you can swipe away. You can swipe. I don't have Wi-Fi on right now, so this isn't gonna load. Then you can tap and hold over here and you get your widgets, themes, home screens, app trash. Now for widgets, you get whatever is built in or what you download as you can see over here. You get your themes, so you get two themes pre-installed. High contrast in LG. You have your home screen settings, it brings up your home screen. Now you can do your wallpaper, your swipe effect, as you can see. You have your icon shape, rounded or original. Now I just like original because if you do rounded square, it just shows with the black, with that white border around it. You can turn on or off Google, Google feed, and you can do search by swiping down. So if you search like this, Literally swiping down, why isn't it working? Swiping down brings your search, so you can swipe down and it'll search. So it'll search your phone basically like Google does, but a little better. Then you have your app drawer over here, as you can see, you're just app drawer if you have that one enabled. Now you have this too, you can edit this and you can do the three dots. You can do brightness and volume. And along with that, you can then do your, you can add stuff to it. You can do Capture Plus. Now I have a subscriber count on there because I like looking at my subscriber count. I have, you have all this basic stuff. And you, if you do it again, you can go settings. 
and normally you're in tab view. I don't like this tab view because every other phone I've ever checked out that is an LG has a list view. Now there is no NFC, but there is Wi-Fi tethering and Wi-Fi calling. You get your sound certification display. Now this vibration on this thing is powerful. Like you can feel it, you can hear it well. And you get your home screen, lock screen, you can get themes. Gaming is a nice feature. So what it does is Tap on the tools, the home button when you're in a game, so you can either do like a screenshot, take a break, which saves a little bit of battery. You can adjust graphics if it's going to slow for you. And what was the other thing? I don't even remember the other thing, but you can do game graphics, high frame rate, you can do that. You can do reduced time. And then for storage, there is 16 gigs available altogether. You get like seven or eight gigabytes usable. Then you have your battery, your power saving, and the battery on this thing, I made a video for this, but it is great. I love it, it is excellent. Now for performance wise, you have two gigs of RAM, but the RAM management, at least to me, isn't the best. I used it for like four days. Out of the old Aristo, I think this one is slower. It happens to be, I used the old Aristo for like three months. Now smart cleaning is a thing that is available in higher end phones. What you do is you optimize now and you can get to either test hardware if you want, make sure everything's working, but it'll basically clear space in the phone for you. And then you can just do your apps. You have your look, all the basic stuff. Now remember, there is face unlock on this thing. To me, it, 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 it doesn't work well. I, I don't like it, it doesn't work well. You go down some more and then eventually you just get to about phone. Now you get the software info, you're running Android 7.1.2. And with that, I mean, you get not fully up to date software, but almost completely up to date software. I don't know if any LG phone is running uh, Android 8.0 now. I wanna show you the emojis here. Here we go. And with the emojis, it's pretty nice. Here we go. You get all of these basic emojis here and basically these are stock android emoticons they aren't like android 7 emoticons they aren't like any special emoticons for this phone with this also it's i think this is, looks like a beautiful i think this looks like a beautiful phone now it isn't the fastest phone in the world like i've felt faster for this price range but i mean i don't know it's all it's all relative to uh, what you think is fast I don't think it's fast, but this in general, I have an issue here. As you can see over here, it's a little broken. And the reason for that is cause, well, I dropped it. I was in the middle of New York City, just holding my phone like this. All of a sudden, just walking normally like I would with any phone in my hand, the phone broke, the phone dropped. It didn't break, but the phone dropped. I got annoyed at that. It's like, seriously? Why? The phone dropped. It just annoyed me. I don't know. It's one of these things like they really, they really ruined the design. You don't, you, you, they like did something different because you, you have to pay for new accessories for it. Like you have to pay for a new, a new case for it. You can't fit your old cases on there from the LG Aristo one. So you have to be specific when you're buying it. So for me, that's really annoying because everybody's in, everybody's advertising their cases for the Aristo 2. They just don't fit for me. They didn't fit. They're advertising their cases for the Aristo 2 when they all showed the Aristo 1 on there. That's another issue. And I don't know, like this phone is decent, but it gets slow. Like I would watch a YouTube video or three and I would go out, I would maybe play uh, maybe play like a game while I'm waiting for something like one of those like uh, puzzle games and I would just be using it normally texting someone and it'd just be going slow like all the apps wouldn't even be in the background I clicked to optimize and it'd still be going slow like this phone has some issues that I don't like now as for the battery on this thing the battery lasts a long time like I actually like the battery life on this thing and the camera, I made a dedicated review, but for me, I had the issue where I wasn't able to get stuff in focus because I messed up on that spot. But if you're just doing regular point and shoot, the camera looks phenomenal. It has detail, it doesn't, it has clarity and detail to it. 
Now, I wouldn't zoom in on the photos, but detail and clarity is there on these photos. So there's nothing wrong. The front camera is eh, just because LG always messes up on the front camera. Now, I don't know, some of these apps do open slow, so if I open up this one over here, let me just turn on Wi-Fi, click retry. Now, I do like the fact that there is 5G networks on this, on this phone, but the fact is, if you see right there, look at that. Look. That is... Look at the performance of this thing. It's messed up that's doing that. Like, I've been having these sort of issues. Now, as you can see right here, this is just opening up three different apps. Look at that. Look at that. I, I don't know. I didn't do anything here. I'm just trying to use Instagram. Click. Performance wise, it could be faster. Like I never had this issue on the Aristo one at all. I really don't know. I don't like this phone. If you're looking for a cheap phone, I do recommend it. But if you're looking for, or I recommend, if you're looking for one with a good camera, I recommend this. If you're just looking for a cheap phone, I recommend the Moto E4. If you're looking for a better phone, get the, the LG Stylo 3 Plus or the ZTE Blade Z Max. But I don't know, this is all up to you. If you want this phone, then definitely get it. But if you did like this review, please just rate, comment, subscribe. Give this video a fat, fat thumbs up. And just as always, enjoy the rest of your day.